Uh, also, in this interview, I love this interview you did. You did an interview something called Scoop when you do Up in the Sundance. There were, oops, there were two. Was it Scoop? Uh, one was one was one was a kid and one was an older. Which one was this? Of, um, oh, know, Scoop was the lady in Sunday at Sunday. That's okay, right. yeah, the question was seem a little bit older. We should wait till the machine checks. <laughs> God said, "Will we hear your voice saying no?" Don't <laughs> be silent. You dialed. Yeah. <laughs> We're not in right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in right now. Lucy should answer the um, she, um, she had asked you, how do you prepare for an emotional role or scene? And you said, if you hadn't experienced something, you'd just try and replace the feeling with something that was specific for me. So for Renee, I was thinking, how would that work with a scene like poisoning your child in Maternal Instincts when you had to poison a hope? And... She used to use my daughter sometimes. <laughs> what? Do you remember sometimes yeah. you would substitute, not that really? you would poison my daughter, yeah. but when God, we were talking about Solon or something. It seems yeah. familiar, so yeah. probably you would kind of use... Oh, I think, yeah, because I think I changed the words on ah. when it was over my shoulder in that, um, in the music and Bittersweet. Yeah, yeah you're right. Her Absolutely. blood is on your hands. Yeah, and, he and did. She would Gives you chills now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it gives me chills now. Um, and also because I think, because I know you so well, and I mean, I would, I guess there is that sense of your being a mother and the daughter, and it would be her, you know what I mean? That, that yeah, I'm sure I would relate to it to being Daisy. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, that's, oh. that's awful. <laughs> but yes, substitution's a big part of it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And then the part that, that popped into my head when I was thinking about it in, in terms of Lucy was walling up a child. What part of you? When did that happen? In the debt. You're walling up little Ming. That's a big deal, isn't it? That yeah. was an amazing episode. I don't oh, think people know what that. out there television yeah. that we produce. But what I remember as a child seeing, there was some horror movie about people being walled up oh, in this house. And me just being obsessed with I'd watch horror movies all the time. You did? Me. Yeah. I thought I was the only one that did. Oh, you wow. Really? No, no, no. Oh, Born so and raised funny. on them. I, I'd say I no that idea. we were Catholics because, you know, all the vampires. <laughs> ah! That I would know what to do. Ah. <laughs> um, I had no idea. That's yeah, watch. So, so, and also <laughs> having older brothers who would do extremely mean things to us all the time, I think I somehow learned, hmm. was very sensitive to the victim, victor. Hmm. Ah. Mentality. Wow. And then probably turning around and being mean to my little brother. Or, you know, it's, it's, or it's a power thing and you've lost. But being very low status and sometimes being high status. So I think, um, yes, wow. there was a, some quite sort of dog eat dog moments in my childhood. Now that I think about it, that look on, on Zena's face when, when she was walling up the child, when you said, like the, the older brother getting one over on the kid's sister, right? you're right, that's what it looked like a sense of victory. It wasn't a sense of it wasn't a sense of cruelty. It was a sense of victory, wow. and I didn't I wouldn't have thought of that at the time. That what it was I'd reminding me of. Ah, it's horrible. It's horrible. But I think um, any of us who are sensitive or do have, did have bad experiences as children um, have a lot to play with emotionally. You've got a lot hidden down there. So it makes acting so interesting, though, isn't it? That you can have those opportunities, you know? I mean, it's a dark place to wall up. Right. A lot of people don't want <laughs> to go there, though. Yeah. You know? Whereas, yeah. I think actors cannot help but explore that stuff. I mean, I still think it's scary. You know what I mean? I, you know, I still think, wow, you know. It's like, but it's, it is fun. But it's scary, I think. The parts, yeah. of, yourself that's that's right. still, yeah. parts of yourself that still scare you? Yeah, you push yourself sure. to go some pretty dark places. <laughs> this cat is just like my cat. Well, she's from New Zealand too. You look like Tigger. You were like my first no, cat. Oh, no, Kiora. Kiora. Oh, Kiora. Oh, not the cat you have now. This cat. Got, like, no, my first yeah. cat. Well, he, but he was he was thinner. Your cat's fat, man. Yeah, is she great? She's not pregnant, is she? <laughs> no. She's just stuck care of that. Come on, hey, puss. Kiora. Just Kiora. 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 Does she jump up? <laughs> she has slightly sort of sad eyes. She's like a too sort of fat, unfoldable jump. Oh, look at the size of that. <laughs> Hello. Ah. Look a bit like my cat too. Yeah. Is it really? Oh, but the exact color. Yeah, yeah, honey. You know, um, she adopted me, and uh, she's from Rotorua. 
And my mom went over there on, uh, on a little tour, and she jumped in my mom's car, and then they, she brought her back to Auckland, you know? <laughs> we just adopted a cat oh, yeah. in, uh, from Louisiana. Oh, I'm straight. <laughs> What's that? Yes. What do you mean? That's so funny. Yeah, we just <laughs> fell in love with this little stray cat, only a year old, little male. That is Got hilarious. Him, muted and... Isn't that funny? You mm. brought one back from Louisiana and I brought one back from New Zealand. That's so cool. Mm. Mm. Beautiful, huh? Okay. Back to the convention. There were so many interesting yeah. things going on up there. <laughs> when asked at the convention about any spats the two of you had during filming, Lucy joked, well, the sex was sporadic. Uh. After the audience died down. <laughs> uh. Uh, you asked the audience if they knew about LBD. Lesbian bed death. What? Yeah. What is... What do you mean? Well, my gay girlfriends <clears throat> say that... Well, you know how that... Quite often... This was their words, not mine. That the sexual impulse will kind of die down for women in a marriage. And then sometimes when you get two women in a marriage, <laughs> they just both cease wanting to have sex at all. So that's what LBD is. See, Did that come you, up at the convention? No. Uh, I, I, I made a joke about it, and half the audience went, ah, they got it. And the rest, yeah, otherwise you just wouldn't know what that means. But there you go. I'm I've never it. heard of it either. I was reading an article in the newspaper this morning hmm. about the difference in how men and women perceive things. And, and <coughs> wondering if you guys have noticed that, for instance, life, work, uh, marriage. Um, do you notice any difference in the way you guys are, you know, married? Do you have any difference in the way, you know, children, uh, life together? Do you notice differences in the way you look at things and men look at things? We were just talking about that, weren't we? Actually. <laughs> um, yeah, we were. Um, wow, where do you start? Yes, I can certainly say that uh, with Rob and I, if somebody is, for example, <clears throat> say working in our home, if this person doesn't fit in with your family culture, they are out the effing door. I don't. Doesn't matter how great their skills are. If they are making this my harmonious retreat a battleground or in any way, uh, you know, interfering with my wow, man, they're gone. Whereas Rob so values somebody's skills that he's um, he's ready to put up with any amount of painful relationship in order to <laughs> use this you know uh -huh. use his skills and, and pay them for those skills yeah. but to me home because he goes to work every day <clears throat> I suppose yeah. you know, that a man regards a house a little differently I don't know well that's a lot like it. you're bringing up that's a lot like an office situation where bosses which for better or worse, is still mm. majority are men. That the keep the employees, be, yeah, who are well past the use by date, right? But they will keep them on for a specific skill, right? Yeah. But it's and different in your never home. Never mind the emotional, yeah. the the baggage they carry with them, right? Or it's we're connected to everything emotionally, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and you perceive yeah. some, this tension in the house. You've got to get rid of it, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Or office or whatever. Yeah. I don't keep people mm -hmm. around who are painful to 